What's up guys, welcome to another short and very easy video. Now today we're going to cover the new plugin manager extensions in version 19, uh, what it entails, how to use it, and what it means moving forward as well. Uh, the reason why I'm covering this today is because I've seen some confusion online with how to use it, uh, how to compile it, and things like that. So hopefully today's video clears things up for you. Now. Um, the very simple rundown and breakdown of the system and why it's useful is that moving forward, uh, third-party scripts or third-party plugins uh, will not require you to go into the script editor anymore and mess about here, do like insert new stuff and the usual, you know, make sure everything is ordered correctly and, and these kind of things. So this is a hassle of the past and it's not going to be necessary for most of the resources moving forward should the developers of those resources choose to respect and implement the new, the new system. So I'm going to go over a couple of examples. I'm going to go through the version 19 hotfixes provided by Maruno. And of course, I'm going to go over some of my resources like the scripting utilities and the uh, Elite Battle DX system. So first things first, um, inside of your main project route, you have this new plugins directory. From here, this is the place where all the plugins are going to be read. However, there is a caveat uh, because there is a specific structure that both you as an end user when you're extracting your resources and the developers of the plugins uh, need to respect. So for example, if I get uh, the hotfixes from Maruno and if I just, you know, go into the hotfixes, I open this and I go like this and drag it inside here, uh, this is not going to work. So what the system is doing initially is it's going through the plugins directory and it's checking for folders. Okay, so it's going to ignore all of these files and it's going to say, huh, I, I don't have any registered plugins here. So what you have to do is you have to have a folder, a valid folder. So V19 hotfixes. And now if I go and stick this inside of here, now Essentials is going to recognize this V19 hotfixes as a valid plugin. Um, and another thing that a plugin needs to have in order for it to be considered a valid one is this meta.txt. Now the meta.txt is a very simple file. It's going to contain all the metadata information for the plugin. So the name, the version, any dependencies, any conflicts, uh, website link, any credits, uh, anything like that. And here in Maruno's case, for example, he has a lot of comments which uh, show the detailed change log, uh, which is nice. Um, so this can also be added, doesn't need to be, it's, it's whatever, it's up to the developer's uh, preference. So. But the main parts are here. Uh, oops. Inside of the meta TXT. Why did I do that? Inside of the meta TXT, um, you can see the name, the version, the conflicts, website, and credits. Uh, these are the important parts for the system to work properly. Now, since we have all of this, now the plugin is registered as being a valid one. Now, let's take an example for some of my resources. If I go into my scripting utilities, for example, if you go to my site, uh, if you open the scripting utilities and if you're familiar with this, this is going to be normal for you. But if you click on download this pack, you're going to get this zip and inside of the zip, you're going to have everything structured already. So in my case, if you just go into your project route like this, and if you just extract your, everything that's inside of the zip, like so, um, if you go into the plugins, you're going to have it here. So look at scripting utilities. You have the main script, you have the meta, the TXT, and that's it. Now, for something more complicated like EBDX, um, it, it's the exact same procedure. So if I go into the EBDX, now I've already uh, extracted the audio graphics and PBS resources because they usually take a while. So you can see I have them here. Uh, so I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to extract my plugins. It's going to copy everything over. And if I go into my plugins directory, now I have the Elite Battle DX, I have the meta. And as you can see, I have a whole bunch of other things. So when it comes to developers, developers can structure their plugins uh, additionally inside of the plugins directory. So a plugin doesn't necessarily have to have all of its scripts lying around like this um, or like this. A plugin can be structured inside as well. So for example, in my case, I have first scripts I want to compile, which come with the battle core, mechanics, scenes, animations, UI, the usual good stuff. And then I have common animations here, and then I have move animations here, and then I have any user config which comes at the end. Uh, which also means in my case that I can just push out an update to you, 
uh, without you needing to worry about whether or not I'm going to overwrite some configuration files or something. Because previously, you know, you had to get the whole script. So if I went into my scripts here, I found EBDX, I had to, you know, complete, uh, completely replace everything here, which could also uh, get rid of any configuration or changes you've done to your system. So I think for developers, this is also really nice uh, because it allows you to separate the core mechanics from the user configurable uh, mechanics, uh, making everything just that much nicer. So now that we've added all of our plugins here, I just need to go into my project in debug. I run it. Console pops up. Um, inside of here, you should see debug output, compiling scripts, done. There you can see EBDX stuff fired as well. So animation map is compiling everything additionally. And if I now go into here and just encounter a random wild encounter, just a second. There we go, PG appears. So you can see the system is active, everything is active, and we added no scripts in here. So the scripts are actually going to be compiled if you go into your main uh, project root data, everything is going to be in here in plugin scripts. Now, technically, uh, holding down control should be enough to compile all the plugins, but I think currently there is a bug in the sequence of, of how things are compiled inside of Essentials. So if you want to force recompile all the plugins, because now, for example, if I, if I just run this thing again, uh, it's not going to recompile the plugins. Uh, because it's going to detect that everything is compiled, so we don't even get a pop-up message here. But if you want to 100% force recompile, you can just go into the plugin scripts here and just delete the file. And now if we run Essentials, um, it's going to uh, recompile everything again. So now it's compiling plugins, done. It's doing all the EBDX stuff, and that's it. So, yeah, this is basically the whole rundown of the new plugin system. Um, like I said, I think moving forward, this is going to be easier for both the end user and the developers because it allows everyone to structure their things in a uh, in a much neater way. And when it comes to, for example, when it comes to pushing out future updates, let's, let's actually take a look at it. Um, let's go back to EBDX and I go to the history tab. If I want to download this bug fixes patch, I go to download update. I'm going to open the folder. And now inside of here, everything is already structured. You see, I'm not replacing any of the uh, user configurations. So this is not going to be touched. None of this is going to be touched. The new meta is just going to include a new version number and things like that. So you can see it in both the error messages and later dependencies and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm basically pushing only the elements that I need to push. So I can go in here. If I go back into my project root, extract plugins, I replace everything that needs replacing and that's it. I have now updated the scripts and I just need to go into my game again to recompile everything. And once that's done, we have the most up-to-date version of EBDX and from there it's good game. So yeah, hopefully you guys found this useful. If you were struggling with some of the plugins, if you were wondering uh, why aren't my plugins compiling or what do I do with the new files? Where do I put the scripts? Uh, basically, there is no script to add to the script editor in RMXP, and it's just going to be through these standalone files in their correct folders. Uh, but yeah, that's it for me for this video. Uh, you guys take care of yourselves. Goodbye.